Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be adding powers of i. We have 1 plus, I mean i plus i to the 4th plus i to the 9th plus all the way up to i to the power 81. Now this might look a little ambiguous because we didn't specify what the powers are but if you look at them carefully you'll hopefully realize that the powers are perfect squares. So in other words, i is raised to the power 1, which is 1 squared, then 2 squared, then 3 squared, all the way up to 9 squared. Now, before we start simplifying this expression, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into somewhat looking maybe geometric sum or a series. Remember geometric series that looks like 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed, so on and so forth. And when this sum converges, we can evaluate it with 1 over 1 minus r. And of course, in order for this to converge, r needs to be between negative 1 and 1. And when r is equal to 0, we get 1 on both sides. Make sense? Great. So my goal is to turn it into something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of weird or maybe unusual, but we sometimes do this. I'm going to replace i with r. And this sum is going to turn into the following. r plus r to the 4th plus r to the 9th and then the next one is going to be 16 so on and so forth and the last term is going to be r to the power 81. In other words I'm talking about r to the power 1 squared plus r to the power 2 squared plus r to the power 3 squared. You get the idea? All the way up to r to the power 9 squared. And obviously you can write this with sigma right? You can say something like okay r to the power n squared as n runs 1 through infinity. So is there a way we can evaluate this? Oh, by the way, it wasn't infinity because this is going to stop. So I'm going to stop at 9 in this case. But think about it to all the way to infinity as well. Is there a way we can evaluate this sum? Like, is there a pattern for this? This is obviously an infinite sum. And if you consider the infinite case here, then we're going to have infinitely many terms. But is there a way, a pattern that allows us to find this sum in terms of r whenever it converges? I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can kind of isolate the powers that are perfect squares. You can separate the evens, you can separate the odds, you can separate multiples of 5. You can do lots of different things with this. You can differentiate both sides, integrate both sides, but I don't think there's a way to get the perfect square powers. Again, I could be wrong, right? So, how do we evaluate this? Something to think about? Please let us know in the comment section down below. But I'm going to go back to this because we, we know what R is. So that kind of makes it a little easier, easier. And of course, this is a finite sum. So that makes it a lot easier too. So let's take a look. First of all, my goal is to look for a pattern for these kinds of things. Is there a pattern? I is just I, I to the first power. I to the fourth, as you should know, is equal to 1 because I squared is negative 1. And if you square both sides, you get I to the fourth is equal to negative 1. And I to the third is, by the way, negative I. You should know powers of I. Of course, the first power is always I. Those are powers of I. And it's a cycle, mod 4, right? When you get I to the eighth, and that's going to be I to the fourth squared, and that's going to be 1 again. Make sense? But this is not i to the 8th, it's i to the 9th. But guess what? It contains i to the 8th, so we can write this as i to the 8th times i, and this is 1, so this will be i. And then the next one is going to be i to the power 16, which is 1. So we kind of seem to have a pattern, i, 1, i, 1, i, 1, so on and so forth. So what's really important here is the last term. What do we end up with? i to the power 81. And 81 is one more than a multiple of 4 because i to the 80 is 1. So this is i. Make sense? So if you look at these terms, and there could be infinitely many of them, right? E any term you take is either 1 or i. And it's a cycle again, right? Mod 4, but this time it's mod 2. So how do you find this sum? Let's go ahead and take a look. So we kind of have a pattern, and even if we had so many terms, we could evaluate them once we know what the pattern is going to look like. So here what we what we can do is we have i plus 1 plus i plus 1 dot 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 and then we're going to have i plus 1 and then a final i. 
we have i to the first to i to the 81. So there are nine terms. And obviously, I wrote most of them, by the way. Uh, we're going to have a leftover. So if you kind of consider these terms, they're going to come in pairs like this, right? i plus 1, i plus 1. And we're going to have a leftover. So the question is, how many pairs do we have? And the answer is, we have four pairs. Why? Because we have nine terms. Separate one, you have eight. Divide by two. So this is going to be equivalent to the following. Four times i plus one plus i. It's going to be four i plus four plus i. And then we can kind of write it as five. I mean, I don't know where the five comes from. I just made it up. Four plus five i. Now, can you generalize this? for any power, that would be a really good question. For example, consider this, i plus i to the fourth, i to the ninth, and then I end up with i to the power n squared, where n is not specified. Depending on the value of n, can you find the value? And notice that we ended with nine squared, what would happen if it was at 10 squared? And hopefully you can come up with a pattern. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.